almost certain that the true shield states is not a thing and it's actually called Abu Dhabi but uh they're already in the British sphere of influence which is kind of interesting it is also separate from Bahrain and uh whatever country hmm. interesting there's actually two countries here I think one's only called Bahrain I don't know what this country is called in real life But a Burma is under the sphere of influence. I'm pretty sure England will annex them later, but I'm not sh super sure. Like, I'm kind of positive, but not really. Wow, we're actually gaining quite a bit of research points very, very quickly. It's kind of awesome. I think this is one of the only nations, the Sikh Empire is really one of the only nations, unless you play as like China, or Korea or Japan that can really westernize quickly. Japan can westernize really quickly. I've seen them do it by 1850-ish. They've been westernized and done. They just, you know. But they also have like a bunch of special events. At least vanilla Japan does. Like uh, if France helps, like if you gain uh, Japan in your sphere of influence as the French, um, you gain an interesting event that boosts westernization points. Also, with the Americans, you get an event. I forget what it's called. Kind of like, I think it's called like Perry's something into a Japan entrance, I think. Well, France has been kicked down to the, what, fifth, sixth great power spot? It's kind of insane. And Prussia's been boosted. What have they been doing? Is there any, like, crazy wars going on? Kind of. Let's see. The Ottomans are fighting Tripoli. That's the beginning of the game. Argentinian liberation of Peru, Bolivia. Jujuy? Jujuy. Alrighty. And Ar Chilean liberation of Peru, Bolivia. Antofagasa. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. Uh, Peru, Bolivia is a thing. Usually. They usually control all of this. But it seems that within two years, it has completely collapsed into Peru, South Peru, and Peru-Bolivia. None of them having anything to do with each other. Usually these two are puppet states of this one. Usually. And then forming Grand Colombia is very interesting, too. Like, you have to be a great power... And you have to have, like, certain ideas. And then, you know, if they're in your sphere or if you've conquered them, you can form Grand Columbia, which I kind of want to do. I kind of want to play as Colombia, conquer Ecuador and Venezuela and create Grand Columbia and really be the only other great power in, you know, this region of the world besides America. Brazil usually doesn't make it there. Usually. I've seen very few games where Brazil's even a secondary power. Revolution in Mexico. Oh, no. Uh, Jacobin rebels have defeated the government's forces and broken the country. That's interesting. <laughs> the American Methodist Episcopal, Epis Episcopal Church. Interesting. Sorry about the sniffles, I'm kind of sick. I was playing earlier. I have another playthrough as uh, the Sikhs where I've already westernized and uh, Mexico turned into the Empire of Mexico with like his, his Majesty's government. It's kind of funny. And the US is like completely fine with it. Also, I like how they changed it to the United States of America instead of just the big USA across I like how it's British North America I think it was usually just like British Canada or something I forget how it actually is oh good but not close enough oh, man. 16 holy shit Fifteen, 
I can do a finance reform. What's this doing? Wow, well, that gets you 35 for international debt. Thirty-five. So bring me to fifty percent. I'd like to be over fifty percent though, if I can. Even if that'd be fifty-five. So I'm not getting. And this will take ages. That's almost twenty thousand research points to do that. So let's just. Which one's better? It really doesn't matter, I guess. I get better tax efficiency, but I'm kind of making some money. How is my people? My people are doing horribly. They're like starving in the streets and there's nothing I can do about it. It's either that or be poor. And uh, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to bankrupt the country. So I think I might. Ah, oh, crap. What's administration reform give me? Admin efficiency plus 10%. That's it. What does administration efficiency actually do? Anyone know? Oh no, General Rajat Singh is dead. So our Maharaja has died. Apparently they've conquered Durban. Americans, the slavery debate has begun the Treaty of London. Pishkin dies. I guess it's some Russian literary person. Apparently he's significant. I don't I have no idea who that guy was. So Belgian independence. Belgium is free forever from the Dutch. Those evil Dutchmen. Even though if you're playing as a Dutch, the most effective strategy is to completely ignore that to conquer Belgium. Both are secondary powers, though. That would have been an interesting war in Europe. Here we go. The death of the Maharaja with the death of Ranjit Singh, uh, the vacant, a vacancy has been left in the leadership of the Sikh Empire, which will not be easily filled. The Maharaja's heir died suspiciously within months, as did the heir to follow, due to all the infighting among the princes and the Punjabi nobility struggling to maintain power. Man, that was weird. Uh, many fear this weakness will surely bring the British down upon the nation. We mourn the Maharaja's uh, passing and the UK gets the death of the Maharaja event. I think they gave a claim on us. Oh no. I really don't want that. Wait, how much? 11? No, 16. Need another 5,000. Although we're gaining research points ridiculously fast. Let's do admin reform. That way we have a little bit left and we can move on with. So we're at 50%, 50% westernization. Uh, we're still uncivilized compared to the rest of the world. We're very uncivilized. Where are we on like the scale here? Militarily. There's Shogunate, here we are. Sikh Empire, actually we're not that far off. We are 24th in the world. We have 24th best army. We could defeat Bavaria, Denmark, and Portugal, along with Mexico, <laughs> and Greece, and Belgium. So we have a good army, apparently. Yeah. The Sikh warrior prowess. Oh, the coronation of Queen Victoria. Um. Oh, newly built Buckingham Palace. I forgot that Buckingham Palace was built in the 1800s. So if I have the rights of man, the Maltrusian thought, and pluralism, I can embrace the Pashtuns. Pashtun is added. How do I see accepted culture? I think that's actually under diplomacy. Yeah, Bedouin, let's see. I'm down here a little bit. Here we go, Seek Empire. Punjabi, that's it. Only Punjabis. If you're anyone else you live in this country, you're shit out of luck, apparently. Where's the culture map mode? I know there is one. I just have to find it. Here it is. They changed it to nationality. So we have some Pashtuns right here. Some Kashmiris. Kashmiri. We also have some Tibetans living in the country. That's interesting. 
Um, we have some Nepal, and oh, that's not us. And the majority of us are Punjabi. Um, I think I'm going to go. To, ooh, now they're only allied with Macron. They must have broke off their alliance with the Sikh. There it is, Queen Victoria. British get it. So I think I'm going to justify a war with these guys. To ooh, I could straight up just make them a puppet. Now let's acquire a state. Let's 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 grab a region away from these guys. Let's try and get uh, Quetta. 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 And later I'll just full annex Kalat and uh, Sidda. Huh? Sidda. Not sure sure how to pronounce that. And Macran sees it all. Sees all of the Indian territory. Wow, ten infamy. Holy crap! First minister appointed. Our new first minister is an excellent diplomat. This is new, so I'm sure he'll be perfect for his job. Minus point one infamy, and fifty diplomatic points. Wow. Expert diplomat. Woot woot. We can talk to the other nations finally. Not be you know, stupid. Oh wow, we've. Whew, man. We're losing British favor here. Can't have that. The Maharaja always has to be friendly with England, otherwise, they'll come in here and crush us. It'll be terrible. We have no prestige. <laughs> we'll gain a little bit of prestige in this war. Check out the sphere again. Russia really hasn't done anything. The Empire of China, man, is a powerhouse, though. Oh, look at that. Peking is the capital. Baoding. I guess there's actually a name to change Baoding to uh, Beijing. Or maybe it's the uh, the burning of the of the Summer Palaces event that happens. Oh, Mozart Festival. New inventions. Um, I believe when Russia invades for this region, they get a claim or something. I forget forget how it works, but they get a claim on this region, and they can take it by war or by something else. I think it's sphere of influence. They get a torching of the Summer Palaces event, or something of the sorts. At least I'm, I think they do. I always remember seeing that event fire, at least. Oh yeah, they're coming right for us, man. They're, man, they are evil people. They wear turbans just like us, apparently. Do they all wear turbans? Why do all these, the British and the only ones that don't? They don't seem to care. That's interesting. Do the Afghanis wear? No, they wear like a, uh, like a do rag headdress for like the desert. But we wear like turbans. That's weird. I mean, it's not weird for a Sikh to wear a turban, but. Huh. Interesting. Man, I had all sorts of crazy stuff happen last time I played this game. Like, Egypt broke away from the Ottoman Empire and it was a huge war, and. Oh, it was crazy. Like, the, the powers of the world convened to deal with it. It was very interesting, actually. It made for a more realistic type experience of the age. So we've played for five years. Man, this game seems to run way quicker than the uh, Victoria Ultimate, the Cold War scenario. Man, the world's running way faster. Like, I think... I think I've just now played 20 years in the Cold War mod. And I took nine videos, nine hours, roughly. Oh no, not nine hours. Cut it in half. Me. Three and a half. To get to 1960. Man, we're just blowing through this. Five years. Alright, let's see. This guy's actually pretty good. He's a better defensive general. 
What about this army? We have ba Baba Bahador. This guy's also pretty good. Ooh, what's this? No. Why do we have a secret police? You mean like the Imperial Guard? The Sikh Empire? Oh, there it is. The end of the Federal Republic of Central America is rapidly disintegrated. Uh, members of the government have met in Guatemala to discuss whether the Union should be officially dissolved, and the state of Guatemala declared, or whether they should fight a civil war to preserve what they have. Some consider that an impossible task. Those, uh, though liberals argue that the government should not allow conservatives to doom the region for the future of division and internal squabbling. So what did they do? Did they declare war, or did they just break apart? Yep, they just broke apart, so that is the end of the Federal Republic. Look at that. The Yucatan can become its own state. That's new. That's cool. I like that idea. If the United States came down and seized the Yucatan. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. There's a lot of cool new nations that you don't get to see all the time. Like... Siberian Republic and the Ural Free State. I can create a colony there, not really. Are you like really cool nation? Oh. Lunda? Lunda. Does Lunda have. Yeah, they have claim on all of this. The Congo, the Congolese. Is there... A Congo. Lunda. Is there an actual, like, Congolese? I thought they were all called Congolese. Because they just lived in the Congo. Maybe I'm thinking of a specific tribe. Bamana? The Bamana. And the Taritza. The Wolu. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's. Let's. Well, actually, I'm pretty good. Let's. Kashmir. Let's put more bureaucrats in Kashmir. If anything, that's obviously what the world needs more. Needs central bureaucracy of such. Do we get that uh, justification yet? Close. We're very close, actually. We'll be able to declare war within a year. And Macran is their only ally, and they have a military score of two. So I'm not too afraid of them. So, how big is this army? I can put them here. And then we can march into Quetta. Usually without a problem, I don't think. I don't think they'll fight us. And then I can move the other army. I can move this army, the army of the Kalisa. Game of Thrones, man. Army of the Kalisa. 